What is up, diehards? Wes Monell in the building for a wall sports with Paul Durfee, Leo Holmes. All right, fellas. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver, he says 2024 and that rumor about expanding is false. He says that talk is not true. At least maybe there are people talking who are not at the league office about us potentially expanding after the 2024 season. We are not discussing that at this time. As I said before, at some point, the league invariably will expand, but it's not at this moment that we are discussing it. Blah, 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 blah. NBA is going to expand someday. There's a couple of cities here. I'm not trying to loot anything. I just threw as many on here as that came to mind that were written in articles. Uh, we know about a few of these teams, man. Um, Memphis, they stole the Grizzlies from Vancouver. Um, and New Orleans, they got a team. Well, at the time, the Grizzlies were looking to relocate some other cities that were under consideration. Anaheim, which kind of doesn't make sense because L.A. has two teams already. But if you think you can support a third in the NBA with some hockey and baseball, I don't know. I, I just don't think another <laughs> Southern California team is wise. But they were on the list for the Grizzlies. St. Louis and Louisville and Kansas City. Those were other name, you know, cities that were thrown out there. The way I see it, St. Louis, that's four hours to Memphis. Louisville, that's five hours to Memphis. Kansas City, that's five hours to OKC. So, I mean, I don't really think that merits, hey, let's see if he's getting the team. Kansas City, uh, moving on from them, Pittsburgh, that, that was another team I read in a few articles, and they're five hours away from Philly. Um and then there was another team that I didn't see, and that was Virginia, or another city, Virginia Beach. Supposedly there was some proposal to bring a franchise to Virginia Beach in 2017, uh, which it, in that proposal, the team would have had to start completely from scratch, build a new arena um, that would guarantee revenue. So, like, they're not ready to, to host a team right now. So I don't consider them, you know, likely. But a couple of teams, a couple of cities on this list, Seattle and San Diego, both had teams. San Diego once had the Clippers for a short time. We all know Seattle, the Supersonics, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp days, um, the early Kevin Durant days. But both teams lost, you know, both cities lost teams due to not coming in agreement, agreement for funding arenas. So maybe the NBA just doesn't trust those cities anymore. Uh, I know everyone wants to throw out Seattle, but I just wanted to throw out that precautionary tale that, you know, they didn't fork up their end of the bargain to keep the Sonics. I don't know if that'll change your guys' mind or not. Did you guys think of any other cities, any cities that you prefer to see two new expansion teams in the league? Oh, it's Vegas all day. That's happening. Second team. Hey, bring Seattle back. That's happening. It's, it's going to happen. There's been too many talks about it. Uh, there's current franchises that have considered moving back out to Seattle. So, yeah. Yeah, those, 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 yeah. Are, those are my two as well. I feel like Vegas is like a slam dunk, obvious, like with the way they're growing and the amount of people that go there, you know, they would – sell out nights you know non-stop look at like how the vegas nights are doing in hockey like they're getting so many fans just for the hockey team and then seattle's always been a great sports town i feel like so i feel like they'll they'll have plenty of fans to to choose from you know it'd be it'd be nice to see san diego get a team but let's be honest we all know that san diego is not a good sports town at all they got a bunch of fair weather fans from all these different sports different areas and they all like teams that are not in San Diego. So, you know, there's that. And then, so, yeah, I agree. That's, those are my top two. Okay. If you could not pick Seattle, who would you guys pick or where would you guys pick? Seattle's off the books. I went with St. Louis. That was kind of like my third pick because I feel like that's another good sports town where they have like loyal fans and, and things like that so that was my that was the only other city that was kind of like in contention with Seattle for me 
I got it. If uh, that's off, I may not say Vancouver, but I'm going to say let's bring a team back to Canada. Let's make it where the Raptors aren't the only Canadian team. That'd be cool. I'm sure they'd love you for that, man. <laughs> hey, man, they, they was getting it back in the day. Like, fans may not have been selling out everything, but you knew when you was in Vancouver. Big country Reeves. Exactly. <laughs> Big country. Well, I'm with you. Slam dunk Las Vegas. Even LeBron's talking about it. They got the summer league that's out the there. the biggest uh, thing right now. He's saying that's yeah. what I want my team to be. Yep. And summer league, and I mean, it's just inevitable, right? We, Vegas, we all said it. Uh, the other spot I got is actually Tampa Bay. No, it sounds random and out of the blue, but I did a little bit of homework. Before OKC got their team, uh, Tampa, they actually hosted the New Orleans Pelicans um, during Hurricane Katrina days and that devastation. And supposedly Tampa was in the running to get a team once upon a time, and they hosted the Raptors during the 2020-2021 season, not too far removed from that. Um, So just kind of piecing things together, not that I have any other knowledge besides just pulling up articles and just trying to figure some shit out. Um, Besides Vegas, I came up with Tampa Bay. Um, For those reasons, they were relied upon by the the association. They came through, they hosted. Uh, So yeah, why not? Why not? Um, if I couldn't pick Vegas, if I couldn't pick Vegas, because I know I made you guys pick someone other than Seattle. Um, so for me, if I had to remove them, I, I guess Louisville, uh, the only reason I say that is because they're just crazy about their college sports. They're crazy about their high school sports. And I think they would show up. I think they would rep. I think they'd sell out all the time. Um, it's, they just love their sports over there, man. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't think they should have any edge as far as a city, you know, city edge against any other city here. I'm just thinking of college hoops, and I'm like, man, they would really, they would really show out for them. You guys hate that one? I'm not a fan of that one. Most of the big college towns, they're not pro fun because once you start bringing contracts into it. You get players wanting to rest. You hear load management. They're like, nah, bro, show up and show out. Night in and night out, that's all I want. Like Louisville, you think Louisville basketball? You think the Patino days? You're thinking Kevin Ware breaking his leg and still going out and winning national title? Like, these dudes don't care. Like, he's like, let's just go. I'll hang on the rim and you tech me up and I'm going to smile while I'm getting the tech. Like, I'm going to push it through. I I want that. (laughs) Cool, man. (laughs) 